Carl, they are exhausted, but also incredibly excited. Now, I just talked to those band members a few moments ago because they just landed. They're on their way right now back to Pearland High School to get some of their belongings. But take a look at what they've been doing for the past couple of days. They have been in L.A. living the dream, performing at the Rose Parade. They also got to stop by Disneyland over there just for a little bit of fun. There are about 400 people total. That counts the principal, administrators, the band members, parents, families. About 400 people total went from Houston to the Rose Parade for this huge event. They could not be more excited or proud. It's, it's incredible in so many ways, like the magnitude of what we just did. I'm, I'm still kind of in shock um, that we were chosen for such an awesome opportunity. And it's I know it's a really big step for the band and it was really fun for the kids. And I'm sure the parents had a lot of fun. You know, one of the things that I love about my job is watching our kids experience things. And uh, it's one of the most powerful experiences that I think we've had our band coming together with regards to community and the Hurricane Harvey flood. Uh, and then to get this to come out of it, uh, it's just fabulous for our, our kids, our community our school. Uh, it's just been a great time. And this is the very first time that the Pearland High School Band has been invited to perform at the Rose Parade. They are one of 88 bands from around the country. Again, an enormous honor. And one of the reasons that these kids were actually chosen is because of some of the work that they did during Hurricane Harvey. So we're going to have a lot more on that part of this story coming up in our later newscasts.